What's up everyone? Welcome to Buzzy Games. My name is Bethany and today I'll be teaching you how to make a sliding door. It's automatic. Isn't that cool? It automatically opens and closes when you are close to the door. So let's go ahead and get started building. So first off, we're just going to go ahead and build a door with a wall around it similar to that. So go ahead and grab a few parts. I'm going to make a really simple one. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be a fancy one. Change the material real quick to let's do some brick. Change the color to I believe it was cocoa. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this next few parts. And then I'll get back to you once I'm finished building the door. Alright, so now that we have our wall and a door right here, there's two more things that we need to add. So we're gonna go ahead and add two parts. Go ahead and put it about a few studs away from the door. Um, it should be good. Make sure that it covers the whole floor. And then go ahead and pull it up. Let's make this a little skinnier. And let's change the just transparency two, one. And let's go ahead and create another part, duplicate it, and do the same thing for the back. So these are going to be our detector parts, meaning that any time that our character hits this, touches this invisible part, then the door is going to open. And it's going to require a little bit of scripting, um, but that will be okay. So uh, first and foremost, go ahead and let's group all of this together. model I believe for the detector parts let's go ahead and rename the first one to detector one and then the second part to detector two and then you don't have to rename these it's really up to you you can just rename it to wall if you would like and then I'm just gonna go ahead and rename this to door the door part to door Perfect. So now that we have everything all grouped up and named, let's go ahead and add a script. So I have the script in here. We have our variables right here. We also have our tweeting information, meaning that it'll tell the door um, where to open. So we want it to open in a linear way. And then we'll have a few more variables right here. So the only thing that we want to add in this script is the position of our door when it's open and when it's closed. So if you look back into our workspace, the door is closed, right? So let's go ahead and go to the door part, go to properties, and let's find the position. So this is the position when it's closed. Go ahead and copy that. Go to our script, and where it says door close, let's go ahead and paste that position. So for the door open, what you want to do is move it out of the way, out of our vision, and you can see that the door is open. So now go ahead and go back to the door part, back to position in our properties, and this is the position when the door is open. So we're going to go ahead and paste that position into this um, our, our variable right over here, where it says door open. And then we're going to go ahead and code in our detector 1 and detector 2 parts a function where any time the player touches it, then it's going to open, and then after two seconds, it's going to close. And that's the same thing for the detector one. So for our detector one and detector two parts, we're gonna make sure that our can collide is unticked. And then we're gonna click play here. And just like that, you just created your own automatic sliding door. How neat is that? So you can also do this, you know, with two doors and such with this script. You would simply have to add another variable for, you know, how many doors you have, and then that's it. So come join our Discord for all Roblox content. Uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. That would mean a lot to us, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye!